Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. Hey guys. Is this Chance the Rapper? It is. What's yeah. up? Hey! <laughs> okay, okay. We've been we've been fans of yours for quite some time now, and to finally snag you and get you to find oh. a moment for us is an honor. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, no, it's an honor to be on the show. Thank you for having me. We have a lot to talk about. First of all, uh, the album with Jeremiah, the uh, Merry Christmas yeah. with Mama. The gift that keeps on giving because we've added yeah. some new cuts. And then tonight, your Chi Town Christmas virtual concert film. I'll be watching on my Oculus. I can't wait. Because yeah. I, I get dizzy when I watch things on that, but I'm, I'm going <laughs> to stick with it tonight, you know? So tell us about where you are, Chance. What's going on in your life? Well, right now, I'm literally in Chicago. We just uh, wrapped up filming our Christmas special, the, the Chi Town Christmas virtual concert. I'm just very, very proud of all the people in Chicago that, that, that got together. It was uh, basically everybody just put everything that they had into making it happen. So super proud of everybody that got it done and, and just like kind of glowing and, and, and happy for the team. You know, your relationship with your hometown, Chicago, is very, very, very much a headline in your life. As a matter of fact, I can't even imagine you leaving the city limits. Something tells me you're, you're never leaving. Because <laughs> yeah. everything that you, can, you contribute to, it seems, and everything you want to make great things for is right there in your, ta- your town. Talk about your connection with Chicago. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I love the city. This is the only place I've lived, and I've just always felt <laughs> connected. And I grew up in city programming, like I was a park district kid and a summer camp kid. And I do have a deep love for the city, but it goes beyond just like what I've seen here. It's also like the way we're represented in media. Like it's just a cool city, like, you know, like Home Alone or <laughs> Vince Vaughn, Bill Murray. Like it's just cool stuff about <laughs> Chicago. So it's like, even if I wasn't from here, I would probably pretend I was from here. It's just a cool place <laughs> there you overall, go. <laughs> you know? Yeah, if you're going to pretend you're from somewhere, do it someplace cool like Chicago, right? Yeah, you know. Well, I also heard that Chicago and you guys are doing something really, really cool that hasn't been done before, and that is getting to be the Google homepage feature right around Christmas. Is that true? And if it is, how is that even possible? Yeah, we actually just recorded a song for Google with Cynthia Arrivo and the Chicago Children's Choir for Google for like a year in review. And it's just a really happy, like up with them song overall. But yeah, like, I don't know. Google just loves Chicago. The world loves Chicago. It kind of just makes sense at this point. Yeah, Google has never had a song in that spot before. So not only do you get that spot, but it's going to be the first time a song's been there. So and I'm it's really Google. excited about this. Yeah. I mean, Google, I mean Google, Google, they're powerful. They're, they, can have us all, <laughs> they can have us all killed. I mean, they're, we love <laughs> Google. they're very True. powerful people. Well, okay. So that's coming up. Yeah, Danielle. And then, you know, you and Dionne Warwick are going back and forth on Twitter with the love. And then all of a sudden, you're collaborating. Like, how does that happen? Like, now are you like besties? I, I apparently we are. I mean, it's been a very, it's been a whirlwind. It's uh, it's it's been a war wind. It's been very crazy. She's just been uh, <laughs> that's a pun for you. She she hit me up out of nowhere. It was very, just as much of a surprise for me as it was for the world. Like she just woke up one day and decided to start tweeting about me. I guess, and I was able to connect with her, and she brought me in on a really cool, amazing project, an initiative for for the homeless. And then ended up like sneaking in that that there was a song component. So I'm very excited to know that I'm collaborating with Dion Warwick. And she's very, you know, she's just legendary status. And she is. A, a, yeah. So, and so I don't know what to say about it. It's just very cool. <laughs> I tell you, you know, Dion Warwick is someone who says I'm the oldest one in the room. Uh, I grew up listening to her new stuff, right? So then, you know, she she didn't do a lot of work and you know, she that we didn't play, definitely didn't play on our show. But now when you see an artist like that, who the relevance starts popping like this, you're like, all right, bring it on. Now she's a whole new artist for a whole a whole new gang of people. I think that's so cool. I love that. Do more of that. Let's go find some more artists that we can get with Chance the Rapper. <laughs> they, would, they would love that. So, uh, okay, so let's talk about Jeremiah. Uh, we, we, were talk, we were playing some sound from Jeremiah uh, this morning. He was talking about uh, going through COVID, and uh, we knew it was serious, but to hear him tell his story was mind-blowing. I mean, COVID is nothing to be effed around with, talking about having to relearn how to walk and this and that. How, how, what are your thoughts about his, his journey through COVID and how he's doing today? I mean, it was, it's a huge blessing that he's recovering and, and doing better now. But yeah, it was a very, very uh, scary ordeal. And uh, definitely the heaviest effects that I had seen of COVID on anybody. Because, you know, like, 
I've known a couple of people that tested positive and they were non-symptomatic or they felt sick, but it was a couple of days. And when Jeremiah was in the hospital for so long and we were getting these, you know, really grim updates from the doctors, it was just a tough thing, you know. And yeah, it's still something that shakes me up to talk about because it was such a, you know, a fearful moment and and all our lives. I, I've known Jeremiah for like six years, and it's somebody that's closer than just somebody that I've made a song with before. You know, so I was really affected by what was going on, but I'm also very affected by the fact that he's well and that you know our, our new music is out. Well, I mean, this makes uh, this album, the new one, uh, "Merry Christmas, Little Mama," the gift that keeps on yeah. giving, mean that much more. The story, it, there's Definitely. more added to the story. I mean, you you guys did a Little Mama one and two years ago, together, yeah. but it, this one has a whole new layer of, of importance. So I think yeah. it's a great holiday gift for all the fans, Chance the Rapper and Jeremiah. And, but also, let's talk about tonight. Let's talk about your uh, Chi-Town yeah. Christmas virtual concert film. You can uh, catch it on uh, YouTube, Instagram, tonight at 9 and East Coast and then 8 Central, and on Oculus, which must have been On rough. Oculus, <laughs> I know. yeah. Really, how long can you keep Oculus on your head before you fall over? I can't handle it. <laughs> it is a very disorienting experience. But uh, that's kind of like what the whole what the whole film piece is. And, uh, you know, with the climate of the pandemic, you know, a lot of things have had to kind of pivot or find a new way to, to exist. And I've had to kind of find a way to adapt to it. And the virtual concert thing was something that I was not really into at first. The way I'd seen it done before was, you know, just not really my style. And it wasn't really that it wasn't something that I wouldn't love to do. It was just the way that they were being shot was a very kind of empty feel in terms of like the actual concert itself. You kind of feel like no one's there, you know what I mean? And so I started doing the virtual concerts and shooting them myself and just trying to focus on shooting more inset and tighter frames and, and kind of just giving off this feeling of a really intimate live studio visual album as opposed to you know, doing more of a performance or, or a concert. And so now I'm on my fifth filmed concert. And this one is just very, very different and very, very fun and very involved. We can't wait to watch tonight at 9, 8 uh, East Coast time on Instagram and YouTube. I, I, you know, look, I had on, on your album with Jeremiah, I, you have two new songs on uh, The Gift That Keeps On Giving. One mm -hmm. is called Who's To Say. I love the words. I love the meaning oh, behind the song. Uh, I want to play that as we head out. But Chance the Rapper, having you on our show, I can't wait till we see you live because, uh, you know, and we can actually, I, we won't like breathe on each other or, you know, like, be dangerous. <laughs> but uh, yeah. we, we'll keep our distance even <laughs> even when we don't have to just because we, we now live that life. But thank you so much for all you do. And you are so inspiring to so many yeah. people in and out of music and entertainment. And there you go. Congratulations. Oh, man. Thank you. No, thank you. I, was, I appreciate you guys for having me on the show. And I can't wait till things are back to normal so that we could, we could actually get it in the studio but no it's an honor to be on here i think you guys are really going to enjoy the show tonight tonight's the night and from uh his holiday album uh merry christmas little mama with jeremiah the gift that keeps on giving here's who to say thank you chance the rapper have a beautiful thank christmas you. thank you guys take care peace you too take care the mercedes amg interview lounge